figured this was a good place to go for a walk for the dogs on a Saturday. Quinnipiac University's new dean of the School of Communication said he had hiked Sleeping Giant with his two dogs for the first time over the weekend. And my 17-year-old dog, Sadie, uh, sees this crevice that goes down about 50 feet and decided that she wanted to go down it. Sadie, a Chesapeake Bay retriever, had slipped her collar and leash and vanished. And the search was made doubly difficult. Sadie is deaf. So Chris Roush took to social media. Put a call out on Twitter and Facebook Saturday evening. Started putting up flyers uh, Saturday evening. Roush and volunteer groups searched Sleeping Giant for the next three days. Then, late Wednesday afternoon, a man who had been at the park with his dog posted on Facebook that he had heard a dog howling and crying uh, near the green trail. It was Sadie stuck in a five to seven foot deep hole. So Hamden Fire Department had to make the rescue. We used a soft, soft sided stretcher that can be carried by four firefighters and we wrapped the dog in a blanket to keep her as comfortable as possible. Sadie is now being cared for at a veterinary hospital and should be home in a couple of days. Chris Roush, with a smile on his face, said that every year he takes Sadie to the drive through for a hamburger for her birthday present. And he said, I'm thrilled to say that next February I'll be able to do it again. Here in Hamden, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.